that will correct uh, next part is number of state i had explained so this is the module choice which i told you it can be mentioned in uh, in between this 1 1.25 1.5 2 2.5 3 4 5 6 8 10 12 up to 12 that is sufficient we can uh, it can be helped to calculate module as like a previous gear arrangement correct now the worm gear terminology i told you i had explain you the things now next point of the worm gear terminology is a face width so here you can see so this will be the face width b so generally we had taken 10 times module always but here what happened 10 times when when both are circular right now here not circular worm is uh, having thread like structure uh, gear is having circular st uh, structure so not circular that's why the face width you, uh, you just read this if you know it it's okay if you don't know no problem it will not ask for the derivation so important is this much dear friends this much the face width is b is equal to twice of module in bracket square root of diametral quotient q plus 1 or b is equal to 0.73 times dw diameter of worm so we we'll have to select both you can you need to calculate in case of the worm and select whichever be the larger so here larger we we'll have to select correct so this is another terminology go through it for the face width now uh, the designation of worm gear is very important the worm gear is designated by the four digits so you can see this part first part zw oblique zg oblique q oblique m it means what number of start that is zw on screw zg number of teeth on a gear q is diametral quotient of course dw by m we have calculated that uh, and m is the module so likewise designation will be always given in the examination uh, for the worm gear case you need to know uh, what will be the first digit and second digit and so on indicate correct now i'll go to a numerical which is related to the terminology you can see the numerical uh, try to solve from your side so first thing is a pair of worm gear is designated 2 oblique 50 4 oblique 5 oblique sorry 10 oblique 5 it means 2 2 is nothing but zw number of start zg number of teeth on gear 54 10 is the q diameter quotient and 5 is the module so these are the given data through which we can calculate center distance first they have asked for center distance now we know center distance is equal to dw plus dg divided by 2 average of it so dw dw is nothing but m into q so m is given q is given so uh, i'll tell you this and see see the given data i had mentioned here likewise zg zw q and m so center distance dw plus dg divided by 2 so dw is nothing but m into q you can see here m into q so m is 5 q is 10 so we'll uh, we'll get 50 same dg is equal to m into zg m is 5 zg is 54 so it 270 mm now same for center distance i can use uh, because they have asked 50 plus 270 divided by 2 it will gives the 160 center distance first part i have covered then they have asked for gear ratio so gear ratio is nothing but zg by zw so these are the given one which we had known so according to that we need to calculate therefore gear ratio is 27 uh, they have asked for to calculate the dimension so uh, in case of the dimension i'll tell you the axial pitch first of all i'll calculate pa is equal to pi into mt that is equal to mt is nothing but 5 therefore pi into 5 is 15.70 mm now lead lead is nothing but advancement of the screw that is pa into zw so pa we know axial pitch 15.7 and zw also we know 2 so it will be 31.41 i have mentioned here next a uh, tan of lambda uh, that is lead angle l by pi dw l we know that is lead pi into dw also we know therefore tan inverse of this i'll make Uh, it will gives you the 11.31 degree now length of arm pi into m in bracket 4.5 plus zg divided by 50 so 
so by putting the values i'll get the 87.65 mm now last terminology you can say face width b is equal to 2 times module into square root of q plus 1 or 0.73 times dw select whichever be the larger so i have directly written the larger one please check it from your side do the calculations 36.5 after that they have also asked the dimension in that cos of lambda we know this cos of lambda is equal to mn by m that is normal module i can calculate m is 5 uh, by putting the lambda value mn is 4.9 mm and another uh, dimension we know the addendum is one time module so module is 5 did addendum 1.25 times that is 6.25 so did daw means addendum circle so dw plus twice of ha and dag means addendum gear that is gear circle so that is dg plus twice of ha so i have calculated the value 60 and 280 please check from your side so such kind of the numerical basic numerical will be asked for 6 to 4 to 6 mark so be prepared for the terminology okay thank you